Good evening everyone, time for another member update. This is the 8 hour chart of silver provided by netdania.com. You can click on the link below. Now I've drawn in this trend line. It goes back, actually back to about here, but uh, we're talking about a year or so. And you can see that our last rise that we had where they turned it around right there at $25. It actually did touch this line and now you can see we're starting to fail again. So uh, what does the MACD say about that? I showed you before the daily MACD was uh, turning up and the weekly is still below the uh, zero line but and now we're getting a rollover on the eight hour we know that the central bankers suppress gold and silver prices. Um, we would expect that gold and silver would begin to rise during a crisis, of course, because they're the ultimate safety. The central bankers and the government know that as well, and that's why they smack them down. So this is going to be a very interesting test. We can see the support line here that we have is right or right on the edge of this line so a break down below $21 is actually going to give us another run at those old lows which would be unbelievable to see another run below $20 for silver but anything can happen now I think we are we're beginning to enter a crisis period we know we have the shutdown or I should say the fake shutdown because basically the shutdown so far has been theater. We've had the theater of the national parks and of course we know that they're spending more money uh, shutting them down than they would keeping them open. If, it, if they were serious about it then they would just post some signs saying uh, you have to be responsible for cleaning up your own trash and uh, etc please be responsible and then just go away. But that's not what this is about. This is about political theater. We also have the monuments, of course, the Veterans Memorial, thing, things like that. But really, those sorts of things aren't essential. They're irritating and they make people angry, but they really don't matter in the scheme of things. Now, what we saw today, however, with the EBT system, the SNAP system, that is something that does really matter and uh, I'm gonna take you to a video I'm gonna show you a series of videos here I'm gonna take you to a video that I covered when it happened this one happened a couple of years ago and this is a time in my opinion it was a trial run I think today was a trial run as well this was just Georgia but this is what happened in Georgia a couple of years ago. and frustration from from dozens of Clayton County parents who say their children are going hungry tonight after their food stamps were suddenly cut off. Fox News Justin Gray is at the live desk with the story that is all new tonight on The Edge. Justin. Tom, state officials admit to me tonight that something went wrong down in Clayton County at the office that administers food stamps and Medicaid, but they're still not sure what. Parents tell me tonight they can't buy food without those food stamps. This food stamp card ain't got number 17 cents on it. Terry Clark says she stood in line for more than six hours at Clayton County's Human Services office because food stamp help for her six children unexpectedly ended. There's no telling my kids that we can't eat. I'm not taking no because my babies don't deserve that. Nobody kids should go hungry down here in Georgia. State officials say this office was overwhelmed today with dozens of families facing a similar problem. The food stamps just not there. Me and my kids, they haven't ate since this morning. So and I was supposed to get my food stamps yesterday and I didn't get nothing. So they was getting angry. They started banging on the window. A state spokesperson tells me what happened here today was out of the ordinary and it was unexpected, but they say they're not sure what exactly went wrong. What was the glitch that led to this mess? Our budgets have not increased. They've been actually decreased. This director admitted to me there were problems here as he tried to calm fears. And a statement a state spokesperson says, quote, we have both state and county staff working to understand the cause of the problem today. We are working to ensure people receive their food stamps as soon as possible.
I'm a cancer patient. I need these pills to survive. Okay? Candace Bennett okay. says her cancer medications have nearly run out, and after spending all day here, her Medicaid and her food stamps are both still on hold. When are y'all going to come through? When are you going to come through? When I'm on my last pill? Or better yet, when I'm dead? And then I won't need it. State officials say that Clayton County office was closed Monday because of furloughs, and that could have contributed to the lines. They are investigating whether some sort of paperwork or computer problem might have led to some families getting their benefits cut off by mistake. Reporting at the now, you notice that connection that this happened right after there were furloughs. So we had furloughs, and then we had the food stamps being cut off. Now, this is the story from today. Thousands of people here in Southern California and in 16 other states as well have no way to buy groceries right now because of a computer glitch with their food stamp debit cards. KTLA 5's Chris Wolf live in Hollywood tonight. He's got reaction on all of this. Hello, Wolfie. Hey, Rick. Yeah, a lot of very vocal reaction indeed. This Food for Less behind me here in Hollywood is just one of several stores that accept these food stamp debit cards, but of course not today. I should say that we are hearing several different things about what exactly happened. According to some reports, a computer upgrade caused a glitch. Other reports say a routine backup system check is to blame, but we know this much. A computer glitch caused the problem, and plenty of people are very angry. I go to the register. They ask me, how you going to pay? I said, what food says? Oh, we're shut down. We can't pay what food says. I got kids to feed. You know, because the government stuff now, I can't feed my family. This is crazy. Fedra Thompson is hardly alone in her anger and frustration after learning that the government program that helps her buy food for her family is not working. This grocery store's computer will not accept her electronic benefits transfer, or EBT card. The card is basically a food stamp debit card. What's going on with America? You know, what are they trying to do to us? You know, now they're trying to starve us to death. Now we can't buy food. Academy is going... I, you, you know what? I'm so upset. I don't even want to talk no more about this because this is crazy. The scene at Food for Less in Hollywood is indicative of a nationwide breakdown. According to reports, a routine system backup check resulted in the glitch that shut down the program in at least 17 states. Many people affected assume it's all part of the government shutdown, and they refuse to believe anything else. Regardless, they are now faced with a challenge. I don't know what the glitch is. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just trying to get more informed and figure out, like, you know, how I can get something to eat, you know what I mean? How many kids do you have that you have to I feed? I got six kids, okay? I got six kids I have to feed. A lot of mouths to feed. Fedra Thompson now says she's going to look into food banks or soup kitchens. Other people say they will... So there you go. There is the same story even a woman with six kids in both of them so this one is a trial run for 16 states now the first one was one state now we have 16 states so as he said in the story there they can't convince anyone that this doesn't have anything to do with the government shutdown and I would have to agree with them now here's a story out of uh, Michigan and this is about WIC being shut down. As the shutdown continues, it has the potential to do some major damage to the state's economy and its people. WIC, a food program for low-income mothers and their children, has been cut. The state tells us tonight that they can fund the program another few weeks, but it has a lot of people frightened about what could happen. 24 Hour News State's Heather Walker spoke with a couple of moms that may soon be affected. Heather? Brian, the moms I talked to are confused. They don't know why their funding has to be cut. It's making us poor people. You know, I have to live with my parents because we can't afford a place of our own. It's cold. Ooh, I just want to. Sorry. No, it's okay. You know? I mean, you're upset. Yeah. Renee Riley is a mom of four who works at this grocery store on Leonard. Wick pays for a kid's cereal, milk, bread, eggs, and the rest of their basics. As we talked to her, she started to break down. Because it's affecting the children. And it shouldn't. 
If nothing else changes, she'll have to rely on food stamps and families. Okay. Do you need another bag? Like Renee, Nicole James has been on WIC since her first child. She's a single mom of a two-year-old and an eight-month-old baby. You're angry because they're taken from the kids, but you're confused because you don't know what's the next step. But I work. I can't afford to pay rent. Today, her bill came to $132.93 for just seven cans of milk. Within three weeks, it's gone. If the government shutdown continues and you have no more WIC, what are you going to do? <laughs> That's what I want to know. It's just, it just sure, like it's the government for you or for themselves. I'm just, I'm just being honest. <laughs> If you were thinking about going to the WIC website for more information, think again. It's also shut down, but we, of course, will keep you updated here and online at woodtv.com. Live in Grand Rapids, Heather Walker, 24-hour news date. So there's your WIC uh, getting shut down. And if you remember the last time we had the government shutdown debate, we had Obama threatening the Social Security checks. Now, supposedly that was because they had to furlough the workers who had processed them, but uh, clearly that was the card they were playing, and they're playing that card again here, we can see with this video. The other thing that <clears throat> Jack Lowe said yesterday to Chris Wallace was this idea of default on the full faith and credit. So this is what he said. Go ahead, Devin. And if the United States, for the first time since 1789, willfully defaults on, on the good full faith and credit of the United States. I mean, people say you can pay some bills and not other bills, but let me ask you a question. If you pay one bill, so let's just say you, you pay interest and principal on the debt. I'm not saying that you can. What happens if you don't pay millions of people on Social Security? Okay, you see that? He immediately went from the debt payment because the Obama administration's bluff has been called on that because they're saying that there isn't enough money to pay the interest on the debt but that's obviously a lie because the Treasury's bringing in roughly 250 billion dollars a month in revenue and uh, the interest on the debt is a fraction of that so clearly uh, they've been called on that lie so as soon as they're called on that they immediately start threatening Social Security. What happens if you don't pay hospitals and health care providers across the country? The consequences are immediate and they're very bad. Congress needs to act. Let me tell you something. Let me just tell you the, dis, uh, you know, the, the, the reality of that. There's enough money coming into the Treasury every single month. As a matter of fact, I was just looking at July's budget, uh, which went from uh, January uh, or the last um, almost the entire fiscal year, all but three months. And they've got more than enough money coming into the budget every single month. As a matter of fact, uh, September was uh, last year was one of the highest or the highest month of the year for revenues. I don't know if that'll be the case this time, but it would stand to reason because anybody that's extended their taxes are due by the end of August. So they're going to be collecting all that revenue as well. So September ought to be a pretty good month. We have more than enough money to pay the interest on our debt, to pay Social Security, to pay our military. The rest of the government will have to shut down. Oh, oh well. That means... So there you go. They are testing their dependency that they have now i've warned people for the longest time i've warned people for years that you want to go the opposite direction that they have you uh, dependent on them you want to be as independent as you possibly can you don't want to take a penny from the government because they are going to cut it off and they are going to threaten to cut it off and they are going to use it for political power, for political posturing. That's what we're seeing right now with the Obama administration not getting their way with getting uh, Obamacare funded and everything else funded and the debt ceiling increased. Uh, the threat is that if you don't continue to grow the government the way we want it grown, uh, then we're going to take drastic measures which will starve people, uh, which will uh, put old people out in the street not pay medical bills, etc. So that's clearly what they're threatening. I do believe uh, that this is not just a glitch. It's interesting that the Georgia food stamp 
EBT snap shutdown that happened a couple of years ago affected just that one state. Now we have a shutdown that affects 16 states. Will the next shutdown affect all of the states? And uh, I haven't looked deeply enough into the food stamp processing payment system to understand why it would only be 16 states. Uh, that's something I'll have to look into. But clearly for me, this means that they are testing to see how many are dependent and what they're going to do. Uh, they intend to have more dependent on them. Ultimately, when a large enough percentage of the population is completely dependent on the government for their sustenance, then they will pretty much be able to do whatever they want to do. And I think ultimately that's their goal. Uh, our goal has to be to avoid being a part of that system. And uh, if you have the free money, now is a very good time when we're looking at $21 uh, for an ounce of silver. And we'll talk to you next time.